What's up, everybody? I'm back with another video. Um, this time, I'm I'm just gonna show some quick benchmarks of an overclocked uh, i7 3930K. It's a 4.7 stable overclock that I achieved today. And yeah, so I'm, I'm first. I'm gonna show Cinebench, which I got 13.68 with. But I'm gonna go ahead and run the test again. We'll see how much I get this time. And then I'll, after this one, I'll run Windows Experience Index as a last benchmark, which I got a solid 7.9 Senior bench, even a better score. Thirteen point seventy two. That's my previous score. Thirteen point sixty eight on a, the same on the same um, frequency. Thirteen point thirty nine on four point six and eleven point fourteen on the stock speed. Thir uh, three point two. So now we'll go ahead and save this one. Um, no. um, we'll go ahead and run Windows Experience Index. As you see, it's 7.9. Go ahead and run it again. I'm going to take a couple minutes. This is like maximum for me. I'm not going any further with overclocks. I have my GPU at 1.1 GHz core and a 6.3 GHz effective memory. And my RAM's running at 2133 MHz. 16 GB watt channel, so I think that's that's about the maximum I want to go for right now. I might only get another uh, 70, 79, 70 in the summer. I'm running at good temps there, 38, 44. Ideal about 29 to 30 on the CPU. Sorry uh, for the crap quality cam, as I always say. CPU now. Also ran Prime 95 on uh, maximum <coughs> FFTs, and I got uh, some nice temperatures and at full load, as well as stable overclock, no errors at all. I got maximum temperature 77, which I think is I consider is very good for a, for an overclock of 4.7 on an H80. I'm 
on balanced mode, not performance. I don't like high, very high, like uh, fan sounds, because they're very loud when set on uh, performance mode. So I just set them on balance instead. Prime temp, yeah, as you can see, it's 77 here. This maximum, because I, I ran Prime 95 before. This performance, last step. So I saw the 7.9 on everything. Yeah. The CPU actually scores a 7.8 on at stock, but as you overclock it, I think for uh, maybe more than as it reaches 4 gigahertz, I suppose it goes up to 7.9 and Windows Experience Index. So uh, thanks for watching. Those were some quick benches, two benchmarks. Uh, there are a lot of other benchmarks that I could do, but this was just a quick video to show uh, some simple ones. So thanks for watching.